Today we're going to do a little test on some low recoil double alt buckshot. And this is from Royal Buck, something I just wanted to test out. We're going to test it against some Remington double alt buckshot, really uh, nine pellets both. Uh, the biggest deal is the, the velocity of these rounds. So we're going to check this out. We're going to check it also against some field loads and some different things. Now I picked up this low recoil buckshot from bulkammo.com and just uh, it's a great source for some ammunition. So just, but I'm going to test these out, see if what we could do. Here are the way the loads look for the Royal Buck low recoil, and you know you can look right through and see the pellets, which I think that's a pretty cool deal already. It is high brass. These are defi definitely significantly less recoil than your regular Remington of the exact same uh, shot size. Now, as you can see, one of the big differences between the regular Remington buckshot is that it's 1325 feet per second. The Royal Buck is 1200 feet per second. So really, it's probably a reduction in powder, but still sends those uh, nine, uh, nine pellets downrange at a pretty good velocity. This is one of my lightest shotguns. It's a Mossberg 500. It does have a slug barrel on it with rifled sights, which means that this is an open choke. There are no restrictions to the choke. In fact, uh, it even goes beyond improved cylinder. And uh, this is, so the groups are not necessarily gonna be as tight using buckshot as it would be if you had one that had partial choke in the barrel. Two shots at about 10 yards. Well, I would say a 12 inch group with both shots, but uh, I think it's considerably less than that uh, per shot. Most of the first shot went up high. Recoil was very manageable. Now we're gonna fire a couple of rounds of regular Remington double alt buckshot, nine pellet. Okay, here are the groups, a lot tighter as you can see, same distance. Those are both shots. Uh, the recoil was considerably different. Okay, I'm gonna fire off a couple of regular field loads, then with the low recoil buckshot, and then coming in with the Remington double up buck right behind it. So six shots, two, two, and two. Yeah, significant difference. This is one each, regular field load first, the low recoil buck, the Remington buckshot, and then Magnum turkey loads. Wow, I like that. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's considerable. First two shots are basic uh, double alt buck. Okay, this time we're going to use the low recoil. Now this is the full buckshot and as you can see the pellets a pretty defined. Here we have the Royal Low Recoil. The, the, it's a much bigger spread. One thing I want you to understand though is it blew right through this wood. 
So, you know, whenever, if you're using this for a, a home defense situation, if this were drywall, it would even be much worse. You need to be careful where you're pointing that gun, especially if you have kids in another room. We're gonna fire buckshot into one and then the low recoil buck into another piece of wood. Okay, this was the regular buckshot just into a piece of basic plywood. They all came through. This is the Royal Buck, and this actually, the, the group in here was a lot actually tighter than the um, regular buckshot. And as you can see here, came right through. Now one thing we see here is that the, the low recoil buckshot actually embedded itself partially into some of this wood here and also here uh, which is not the case for the basic the regular buckshot loads they went straight through so there is a little less force or over travel there the other thing is of course the royal buck was slightly wider in groups than the remington and winchester and so there is a slight difference in your uh, pattern but also the, the recoil was significantly less and your penetration is going to be somewhat less. Now, one thing I do want to say, though, is, is that through drywall, if you're using this for a home defense uh, round, buckshot will go through drywall. So you need to be careful where you're aiming your gun in a, in a home defense type situation. And it's for that matter, any gun needs to, it needs to be taken into consideration. I want to say also a big thanks to BulkAmmo.com for providing these uh, low recoil double op buck rounds and uh, just doing a, this kind of test is really a lot of fun and just that much more information about what you're going to be using for home defense. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. That one was stronger. Don't be a wimp. All right. Oh my God! Oh! <laughs> oh! You tricked me on that last one. Golly! What in the world? <laughs>